Richard Nunn is media analyst at Charles Stanley Securities, and he joins me now. Richard, thank you so much for being on the move with us. Tell me, would you be actually telling your clients to buy Facebook shares? Yeah, absolutely. I think there's been a lot of short-term hype around this over the last month. But what you have to look at, it's not short-term, it's a medium-term play. And I think when you look back as in terms of a comparator with Google, when it IPO'd, it was deemed to be crazy multiples on earnings and revenues. It's not too dissimilar to Facebook now, but three years after it IPO'd, it was worth 10 times more. At that point, didn't have YouTube, didn't have Android. So I think what you're buying into is a big platform with what will be a billion users by year end and how they monetize that. So yes, it will be big. But what's your main concern? We've been speaking to analysts. Some of them say the problem is that Facebook may not be as popular as it was just a year ago. We saw a couple of the big num names actually dropping it as you know platforms to advertise their their uh, things on. And, and at the same time, you have to really like the chief executive. He's going to be in charge. So you're basically buying to Mark Zuckerberg. Yeah, you are. And I, I listen. I think. Yeah, he's got management control, there's no doubt about it, but he's a visionary. And if you think yeah, what he's done in eight years on that business, we're just starting now. So I think if you don't buy into him, don't buy the stock. But I think yeah, you have to buy where this uh, stock is going and how they're going to monetize that. But how can Facebook grow from here? Does it have to diversify? Does it have to acquire companies to become bigger? For you know, China is a great unknown. Are they speaking to anyone there? My understanding is that those conversations being had, but it's a dichotomy, right? Because you've got China, which is anti-freedom of speech, and Facebook, which is about freedom of speech. Yeah? Connecting, of course. Uh, and uh, so I don't think in the short term that will happen, but I think what you have to look at is Asia. They are cracking the Indian market, which has got a billion people, right? Indonesia, cracking it, 256 million people. China, no, not in the short term, but I think the rest of Asia, yes. And in terms, is this the only way to grow? I'm just, I, you know, I'm a Facebook user. I kind of believe the hype. But at the end of the day, how is this business going to look like in five to, to, to six years? Will it have to be completely changed, radically different to what we're seeing now? No, I think what you have to think about is Facebook is like an Intel. It's an Intel inside a Visa, MasterCard. It's a, it's a platform, right? And there's going to be a lot of things that are happening that are going to drop into that platform. And that's how they monetize. Yes, mobile is big. And I think that's, that surprised Facebook about the acceleration of how consumers are using mobile. And so they were I think a little bit behind the curve the, in, the, in mobile usage. Yes, but at, let's not forget, as are a lot of people, because I think that acceleration is just huge. So yes, I think there are a lot of their initial M&A activity will be focused on that. But there's a huge amount of organic stuff that, um, that Facebook can do to monetize their, their user base. And it's about engagement. It's not about advertising. At 38 bucks, do you, do you find it expensive or do you find it still cheap? Or would you say, yes, it's expensive, but actually you can't afford not to miss it? As you say, you know, do, what is it going to be worth 10 years down the line? Well, listen, it was only last week we were saying it was 34 or $28 20, dollars yeah. expensive, right? It's now 38 It will bump 10 20% today because there's got a huge re retail appetite. But I think, you know, I'm not saying it will do a Google and be 10 times what it will be in three yeah. years' time. But I think you know it will it will hit a hundred dollars over the next three to five years yeah. purely because of, of what it's and what it's able to do with brands mm -hmm. and with advertisers. And you would buy it now. You would you wouldn't wait a couple of months because this is something else that we've been speaking to investors that say, look, I'm interested, but I just want to see how the summer pans out. Yeah, I think I think yeah, there's there's yeah, the, the next couple of weeks is going to be it, it's going to rise, and I think yeah. it, you know it may come back. Um, over the coming weeks because of you know there's been a lot of hype but I think you know if you can get some stock now roll with it but this is a three-year play it's not a two-month play all right Richard thank you so much Richard Nunn there media analyst at Charles Stanley Securities